Hey guys, and welcome to another tutorial. So today I'm going to show you how to set up really quickly depth of field in Blender. So go ahead and get a scene of your choice. I'm going to be using this one here as one of my own example scenes. Add in a camera. So I'm going to go shift A, just add in a camera. G, Y, just bring it out here. So once you've posed your camera in your scene that you have, a scene of your choice, okay, get it into position if you like. Go ahead to your camera settings and set the focal length to something really high. I like to go to like something like 85 or 95. In this case, I'll go with 95. And I wouldn't recommend this for scenes like a panoramic landscape or anything. You wouldn't need that. But if you have something that has a really shallow depth of field, like a little scene like this, where it would be appropriate to kind of zoom in, in a space like this, this where depth of field comes in really um, in handy and makes things look really awesome. So if I just quickly rendered this, you would, you would see that just looks too sharp. It just doesn't look pleasing. But as soon as I come here and I enable depth of field, you still I can see anything. You need to click on this little eyedropper and actually select the object that you want to be in focus, which is this guy here in my case. And if you bring this f-stop value down, the more you bring it down, the more it, um, the effect is gonna come into play. So you can see here, if I bring it to 0.1, that's quite intense. If I bring it up, it's less. So I like that, that looks quite cool. So that would be really awesome to render out. It would look a lot better than not having it. Um, but I'm gonna show you another way you can do this that is a little bit more, gives you a little bit more control and the way I would recommend. So instead of clicking that little eyedropper and selecting the thing you wanna focus on, go shift A, add in an empty to your, your scene, like something like a cube. Now you could use any object, but I would recommend an empty because it doesn't show in the render. So with the empty placed where you roughly want the focus to be, you can go ahead, select your camera, and then instead of selecting that object here, you can cross this out, click on a little eyedropper, and go ahead and select your empty. And now, if we go into our rendered view here, the advantage we have is we can grab this empty here, and we can actually move the empty around. And the empty is now gonna determine where our focus is. So we can move it back a little bit in our scene, and we can move it forward in our scene. And also, this would be something we can animate just with a simple keyframe animation in Blender. So I hope you guys found this tutorial useful about depth of field in Blender 2.83. It's that easy. Just to recap, go to your camera, go to your camera settings, tick this little box, depth of field, get the little eyedropper, click on the thing you want to have in focus, and then mess around with this f sub value. Increase it, decrease it till you, get, till you get something you like. So that is a quick little tutorial. I hope you guys liked it. And I'll see you guys um, shortly for another tutorial.